You are now listening to a member of the Disney Podcast family. Head over to Disney Podcast Family on Instagram to see all the latest posts for this show and links to other great Disney podcasts. Inspiration is at the heart <laughs> of all creation. Spark a dream that we're meant to follow. You're listening to the Extra Magic Hour, brought to you by Walt's Apartment Podcast and the Diz Insider. Join the team in the studio as they bring you the spirit of Disney through park news, history, and tips and tricks to make your Disney Parks vacation even more magical. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Extra Magic Hour. We are back with another fun-filled Disney Parks podcast brought to you by Walt's Apartment Podcast and the DisneySider.com. And I'm joined by my two awesome co-hosts here, and I'm not understanding why they are both muted and laughing their asses off. So what's going on? I sent Nicole some text messages last night that, they're worth a big reaction, and she just saw them. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Um, we don't have time for the show anymore. <laughs> we have to go. Um, I have questions. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well, um, that's thank you for another great episode. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, um, we're just going to talk a little Disney Parks news. We haven't had a show for a month. We've had things going on. I was sick for one of the weeks that we're supposed to record and then stuff. We're here. I'm joined by two awesome co-hosts. We have Sam. How are you, Sam? I am. I'm good. I'm okay. happy to be here with you and Cole. All right. Perfect. And then the host of Coffee with Cole, Miss Nicole. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm excited to be here with you guys as well. I think you're more Nothing excited like about the text Disney messages hour. you got. Huh? I think you're more excited about these text messages that you got. I'm being yeah, serious trying right. to start the show, and you both are you're just right. like laughing your asses excited. off. I'm like, what the hell is going on? But Clearly, I suck as a friend, though, and didn't see the messages until literally I went to go text her, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to talk to her right now. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah. let's get to the show. Y'all can talk, and then we will go from there. Um, Yeah, we're just going to talk some parks news. Some stuff's been happening the last month. Um. I do want to shout out our Patreons. If you want to become a Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash Walt's Apartment Podcast, and you can join to help us support the show. It goes right back into the show, helps us pay the bills. We appreciate it. And we do some fun things on Discord and talk to our Patreons, and they give us show ideas, stuff like that. Our two awesome sponsors, we have Designer Park Co. and Getaway Today, which we'll hear more about in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good – we're going to have a good, fun show. Like I said, some Disney Parks news, and that's about it. We got some news, some stuff coming up. A little topic we're going to talk about, and Sam's got Imagineering feature on Blaine Gibson, right? Yep. Perfect. All right. Sculptor extraordinaire. Just like if, if you listen to our shows, you know last night I had no plan for the show, and it, and it actually worked out okay. So I figured I'm going to try this again. I don't know if it's really going to work, but um, we – have some ideas, some topics to talk about. Um, let's go, let's go back a couple of weeks and we'll talk about what happened at Disneyland when, um, old Murphy, if you know Murphy, Murphy is the Maleficent dragon. Um, that's at Disneyland caught on, on fire. fire. I mean, just not, not even caught on fire, like burnt to the ground, like nothing left, but the arm with the, the mouth on it. That's all that's left. Oh, um, so sad. Thankfully, that's all that was damaged was that. And that was $10 million. They said, like, and, and they when they got that in 2009, it was $10 million to build that. So it's Can completely... you imagine being a little kid watching that, no. like, show? And then literally, like, I can't. Traumatizing. Oh, no shit. Traumatizing. Yeah. Like, literally, like, 
all bad, all bad. I was falling all asleep bad. that night, and and we have a our, our group chat with Bill and Barry and Chris. Um, Barry, which is three o'clock in the morning or wherever he's at, drops this in there like eleven thirty at night. And it's a video, literally of the dragon on fire. Then it turns off, and then you hear. Sorry, folks, but the show's not going to continue. Then they go right into the New Orleans Square music like nothing's wrong as it just sits there and burns and the plastic's dripping off of it and melt. It's just so funny. The music it's is funny, but it's funny. No, like, it kind of is funny. Handle things. Like, that's I th- how I handle my life. Like, I just, everything around me is burning and I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I think we can laugh about it because nobody was hurt. I mean, that's the good thing that no one was hurt. I mean, if people got hurt, but literally, there's one guy down there, you know, on the crew. This thing's 45 feet tall. So he's down there with a fire extinguisher at the base of this thing, trying to put out this little fire. And then if yeah. you know how the dragon works, it it, spit, it spits fire, too, like this stream of fire. Yeah, it, it malfunctioned, too, and spit down about 10 feet away from this guy. He had to, like, step back, and it, like, hit the ground where he was. The craziest thing. And then you just hear yeah, people laughing nuts. and the music and – so and this big- is why Disney hires professionals because I feel that them having an education in what is it pyro something something yeah like keeps them safe right and keeps it so it was I mean that's kind of funny that he's taking this like little tiny fire extinguisher to like forty feet worth of fire it, but he like, had no chance <laughs> no chance but you know what like at least that they are trained and they're educated to sure. stay safe right it was it, and I those mean, men are hot have you ever seen them oh dear god who they're handsome the firemen no oh, the guys like that work the on fantastic guys. the oh, pyrotechnic yeah. guys yeah oh they're, you say hot they like are you joking like, because like fire or just <laughs> Is that no, what you're trying was, to get at? I know. I was okay. for they're, right. hot, they're hot in both ways. I got yeah, in both sense. ways. Totally makes sense. But thankfully, like I said, no one was hurt. Uh, they, they said like two cast members had um, some smoke inhalation taken care of. But now, obviously, the uh, the uh, attraction has been closed down since. They have a tarp up around it because for some reason they can't. Because the, basically the way it works is a big uh, animatronic on a robotic arm with the mouth on top. That's all that everything else is just shell. Everything burned off but that. And that's still stuck above the ground because obviously it's hydraulics and they, they can't get it down. Um, from what I heard, it goes 22 feet into the ground. It, sh- it compresses down below stage for the for the dragon. Um, no idea when it'll come back. They're saying that um, it'll come, if it does come back, come back in B mode, which is basically Maleficent uh, just goes up there and Mickey yells at her and they put the dragon on the, the water screens. Very sad. I just want to get your guys' thoughts. Um, also, I think there's an issue with these dragons because I want to say like in 2018 or 2019, the Melissa, the Maleficent dragon at Walt Disney World in the parade, mm-hmm. the same exact thing happened, caught on fire up by the neck and it, it burned down like in the parade route in front of kids, mm-hmm. not, not across on, on an island. It was literally like from here to uh, 20 feet away. Yeah, it was, in the, it was on the parade route. Yeah, yeah, but scary. Now they've Disney has shut down all fire in every one of their performances. So World of Color has no fire. The fireworks at Disneyland have no fire coming up right now. So until they figure out what happened, um, obviously, it, who knows what happened? I don't know how they're going to figure out what happened. But thoughts on it? Have you guys? I don't. Sam, do you the Phantasmic and Florida? Do they? Does it spit fire as well? Or do you have a dragon that does that? No, but. I mean, like the closest that we had was the parade one, right. um, which is which is back. But not now. They turned it off again. <laughs> well, yeah, a, yeah. Um, so if they're not doing fireworks at Disneyland, are they doing like a laser show or something right well, now? They're doing they're doing fireworks. They're just not doing anything that involves actual fire. Okay. So like, so they're uh, still doing the projection and stuff. And they do the fireworks, but like I know at the, at the Disneyland one, there's huge plumes of fire come straight up, like on the sides of the yeah, cap. yeah, gotcha. Okay. That. World of Color shoots fire like straight, like 45 feet in the air. They're not because you said the fireworks, and I was like, oh, Sorry, I worded it wrong. <laughs> well, no, for, like in my brain, I was like, Well, I guess fireworks are fire, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I will say this when uh, when we were there a couple like when we were there last month, I made it a point. I told Nicole, I said, We, I, I, I really want to see this because you know, Lewis loves Toontown, I love Fantasmic. We tried to see this damn thing two nights, and we went the first night, and it what, what did it cancel? Like, what. 20 minutes before we were going to watch it 
they said it was started raining, so they had mm-hmm. to cancel it. <clears throat> we did get to see it the following night. I'm really glad now since this happened that we got to see it because we don't know if it'll ever be that way again. So rest in peace to Murphy the Dragon. I, ho- I hope you come and back. And that's someday. crazy to think like that that was the last time like to see it like that mm-hmm. because it was such a fluke that we even saw it that night. And like Tanya, my my friend hadn't seen it yeah. in forever. And like we ended up getting sandwiches and just standing oh, there and the it was like the best sandwich. view ever. Oh, so good. Berea sandwich, so good. Um, yes, but it, unfortunately, Dragon's gone. I hope they bring it. I, but then there's all this talk now. Will they bring it back? Because it will cost so much to build with all the budget cuts. That dragon is the focal point of that show. You cannot, but I don't know if they will anytime soon with all the budget cuts. What do you guys think about that? Do you think we'll see it anytime soon? Or do you think it'll just run the B mode for a really long time? I think it'll be in B mode until they replace the show. They're never going to replace Fantasmic. Like completely? There's no way they could ever get rid of Fantasmic. If people are feeling like it is lacking because Murphy's not there, Mm -hmm. they'll just replace it if they don't have the money to spend. I hope they still like light the the river on fire because that's the cool part of it. Like when he breathes breathes the fire and the the fire literally just lights up with fire and like how they doing from what how they doing that are they throwing gas into this river and letting it just ignite because there's not like things popping up out of the ground that because it's on on the river it's just the craziest thing how the fire is just everywhere the water's literally on fire during this so that's cool i hope that i hope they at least do that part of it it but, could be alcohol that could yeah because mm-hmm. it, it burns off pretty quick too so that could be yeah so think about like when you go to get like chocolate fondue or something and they light it on fire yeah, at your table they're just pouring alcohol on top of it i hope that comes back soon um cole do you think we'll see murphy anytime do you think that it will ever come back or is it the last time when we saw it where we're lucky enough to see it um i don't know yeah i i to be honest i don't know I, I'm with Sam where if they feel that it is lacking or there's enough hate around it that they're not mm-hmm. able to make it to what it was or something of sorts, I can definitely see them just doing away with it and, and doing something else. Yes, it's been there for forever, mm-hmm. but I can't see right now them taking any more of a risk Right. and, That's fair. you know, revamping or, yeah. So oh, sadly, sorry. Disneyland is ever changing, Sean. It is, but that's fantastic, which is really, really cool. So I know. with you guys saying sorry. that, it, it makes me even feel more happy that I got to see it last week. It's okay. Month, Let's so. just move on. It's okay. Okay. Well, we're moving on. Um, as we're recording this, it is May 4th. So um, Star Wars month is in full effect in Disneyland. And I don't know if it's celebrated as much in Florida. Is it the same same idea? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Galaxy's Edge is, um, there are some new meet and greets that came out. Um, there's also a new feature in the app where you get like this lens for the armor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it is currently available on my Disney experience, but until the 11th, starting the 12th, it's going to be available only for pass holders and for people who buy Genie Plus. Okay. Um, so I I haven't even gotten to see what it like what exactly it is, but the armor's like badass, so I'm sure it's probably cool. Uh, there were also some special meet and greets that were added with some droids. Is her name Phasma? Is am I saying that right? Captain Phasma. Captain Phasma is the really shiny silver one. That the 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 the, the shiny yeah, silver. Yeah, her and her stormtroopers. Um, are like you can meet them like that's part of the meet yeah. and greet yeah mm-hmm. yep and then the armorer is from you're talking about the armorer from mandalorian mandalorian okay mm-hmm. so yeah. yeah so she's got a new lens there's a, a lens available for her on uh, my disney experience app that you can use in galaxy's edge um that's so cool that they can, that you can do that now like just with the app you can get, get these they can have like mickey hanging on your shoulder and stuff i'm like that is the yeah man it's crazy so there's new magic shots. There is also the Shop Disney contest mm-hmm. that is being held, the sweepstakes. No purchase ne- necessary, so everyone go enter. You just head over to the Shop Disney site, and they are giving away two nights on the Galactic Star Cruiser and oh, four lightsaber hilts. Oh, wow. Okay. Isn't that so, so cool? 
And also the, the contest yeah. ends May 31st. So you okay. can go and enter uh, and, until then. All right. Um, and there's special food. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't check which food and there's some like souvenir things. Yeah, we had on Richard and Sarah sure. last night from Skywalking mm -hmm. to Neverland, and they they were there the first night at uh, at Disneyland, and they got to meet Queen Amidala, which is really cool. Um, Luke Luke and Leia were there, which no one knew there's going to be a Luke and Leia actual. I don't has that ever been a thing? Is is Luke and Leia in the park? I I don't think I've ever seen that. Don't um, think so either. Um, obviously R two D two. I saw Courtney and Kelly had some different a lot of uh, Anakin. I, the IG robot from the Mandalorian, just IG 11. Yeah, Disney's slash doing 12 it right. Yeah. Slash probably 13. <laughs> R, R5 was, I saw Megan did something with R5. Um, mm -hmm. Just very cool. They, Disney is doing it right. I think when it comes to Star Wars, to, to, to that, to, to Star Hyperspace Mountain, which is probably the coolest version of Space Mountain ever. Basically, um, I don't, do they, do they switch it in Florida? to star wars no um the only no. time that they switch it in florida they do a like christmas overlay where they change oh. the lights but you, it's not really yeah they do a halloween one they do they do a uh like a something space mountain haunted space mountain or something like that <laughs> at halloween time but um yeah it's pretty cool that space mountain with the star wars stuff is pretty cool because it's you know, you're up there and like, you know, when you're in start in space, Mountain, you can see like on the walls, like the stars, you see like the X-Wings flying by and you hear like red five and that kind of thing as you're go that's looking through amazing. it. That's amazing. It's really That would be cool. like you're flying. Yeah. It, uh, it's, that's more fun to me than star tours. I don't like star tours because it makes me sick, but, um, but, uh, yeah, the, the hyperspace Mount overlay is awesome. Um, and they're yes. going to keep it like the whole month of May. The like it month, started May good. 1st for yeah. us and then they're going to keep it. Isn't it. Sam was saying they don't even do it in Florida. They they do like a Christmas. Yeah, I could, I oh, could you hear, hear okay. I saw that. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Um, as far yeah. as I know, they don't. I've right. never seen it done. So. And there's Star Tours at, at um, in, or in Florida, yeah. right? Hollywood okay. Studios. Hollywood Studios, yeah. Do you like Star Tours? I do. Yeah. So it doesn't make you sick? No, I, I don't get motion sickness. Oh, my gosh. I... I got, I, I usually always get sick. This last time we were, that we went there, I just sat there during the whole ride with my eyes closed. <laughs> the only time that I get motion sickness is on mission space, which yeah. like, no, thanks. That's a one I, and done for me. I would get motion sickness even like on Indiana Jones. And this last time when we went, I don't know what they did to it, but it was, it was, it seemed smoother. It seemed way more better. And it was just, I don't know. I didn't get sick at all. We wanted it. Do you get it on Soren? No. Have you no. done Mission Space in Walt Disney World? I don't think so. I haven't, I've no. I've only been to Walt Disney World when I was sixteen, so it was a long time ago. So long, long that's a long time ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Nicole, have you been on Mission Space? I can't remember. Is that the the golf ball? No, that's Spaceship Earth. Okay. I, so yeah. Mission Space, it's like they okay they strap you in like you're in a rocket getting ready to take off and like it tips you like you're in this big vehicle and it like tips you back and mm -hmm. like you just have this like tunnel vision no and no it's, I can't, <laughs> no no i'm like when no, i get off of, when i get out of it i'm like spinning it's not yeah no it's kind of like that of Mass harry potter ride in um <laughs> hollywood studios that is some fucking bullshit like you <laughs> go and you're like strapped in and it's really 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 tight and they they get you in and you're i mean like you're on the broom or whatever but like the way it like moves you around and tilts you but that they don't have it mastered so if somebody needs it's kind of like um haunted mansion where it just like the buggies keep mm -hmm. going and so when you get on it if you're not quick like if you're lame and can't get in that shit fast enough, it stops, right? But then it's all projections. Yeah. And so you're fucking stuck and you're and you're just the like, projections the are you'll be spinning all around down. you. Oh yeah. no, like thanks. Legit upside down. And then when it starts back up, the projections don't start back up when the when your buggy starts. So you're just like willy nilly all over the freaking place, and there's no projection. 
it is the worst ride ever. Wow. The worst ride. I don't, think, I don't think I could do Cosmic Rewind, just looking at how it goes, like with, with what it does, how it spins you around and stuff while you're trying to watch screens and ride a roller coaster. I don't know if I could do that either. I would be okay. I don't know. But um, yeah. But yeah, stuff's happening up the, at there. Um, Disney 100 is, is finally at Walt Disney World. They're finally, they've pulled down. They have a, the, um, in front of Magic or uh, Animal Kingdom, it's really cool. Yeah. I think, I think the Disney 100 um design and the decorations are great i mean we saw yeah. them when we saw them in um last month i'm like these are i mean purple and black or i mean purple and silver are really cool colors i think t- together anyway they look yeah. cool and it's like it, it looked really really cool i i was very the impressed month of may is just like a really fun month for disney like it's, yeah i felt like i wasn't hearing anything that was going on and then like as i kind of thought about it and looked like stuff up i was like oh mm-hmm. Yeah, we were talking it's earlier. So I'm like, weird. I don't have a lot to talk about. And she's and Nicole's like, well, I, I'll bring a few things. I'm like, cool. Sam's got some stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. I was just there, and it was just cool. But you so, know, but speaking of May and Animal Kingdom, um, at Walt Disney World, they did open up more pass holder reservations, right? For yes. Animal Kingdom and Epcot for the month of May, there are a lot more passes available. So if you are looking for reservations, check Epcot check animal kingdom go check out the disney 100 stuff go check out well i mean star wars stuff is not going to be there but it's going to be in hollywood studios no that's weird to me because <laughs> I, I i've only ever heard and i don't know for sure I've, I've always heard from everyone that epcot is the most popular park is that not true um it is pretty damn popular if, but is it would you say it's the, it's the most popular no i would say magic kingdom, magic kingdom is still, the most yeah. popular okay but I would say Epcot is second. Okay, okay. It's, it's interesting that they would release more passes if they're that if they're that busy. You know what I mean? If they if they're that popular and not, I've always heard Hollywood Studios is like the, the slowest of all four of them. So, but I don't think that they're filling up their reservations at Hollywood. Actually, I think Animal Kingdom um, mm-hmm. is probably the one that has the most available usually. Well, Hollywood actually, with it being May with Star Wars, that could be yeah. But be also. They, I don't think they were really filling up their reservations before. Except, mm-hmm. Well, they well no because they have Cosmic Rewind too, right? So there's that's true. They have yeah. more new things and like um, Epcot. I think the newest thing is still Remy's. So okay. So Cole, what do you, what do you know? Um, I is that kind of what we have going on at Walt Disney World? Uh, I know that the that not food and wine, but the flower and garden flower, flower and garden is going on till like July. I believe, mm-hmm. which looks pretty cool. Which um, is amazing. It always has like good orange bird shit, which I love. <laughs> oh, um, they are. So <laughs> the harmonious things are, they still have two barges mm-hmm. um, in the lagoon, but they are starting to work on Epcot's new nighttime spectacular. So they're moving in some oh, temporary fun. barges. Uh, so the lagoon still looks like shit, <laughs> but they are getting ready to work on. And that's in October, right? Then that they're for the, for the new show later on yes. this year. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, but they have a lot of equipment that is being moved into the lagoon to build it. And since we've been having had a show happily ever after is back, which everyone is there. Everyone in the world's favorite fireworks show. Um, not going to lie. I've never seen it in person, but watching videos of it, it's pretty damn cool. So it's, 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 it's no Disneyland forever, in my opinion, but I've seen that in person, so it's different to me. You can also go buy your uh, Halloween party tickets. Yes, we're going to talk okay, about okay. we're going to talk about passes here, about uh, the after hours events here in a little bit. Um, Nicole, what's happening at Disneyland? Anything? Do we already touch so on it? Or they have? Um, I didn't even realize they did this. It's for the month of May. It's A N A N H. I month so it's like an Asian American Native Hawaiian and oh. a Pacific Islander um, Islander um, Heritage Month okay. and so they do like there's something different all the time downtown mm-hmm. they have um, two different artists three different artists that are showcased at the Wonder Gallery they have nightly uh, ukulele music and um, hula lessons. Where at? At Trader Sam. Okay, Trader. Okay. Um, they do like a sake flight and cocktail at the Nova Brewing. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and well, you had me at Saki. Saki. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then they do um, a limited time turning red photo op in, in California. Oh, nice. Oh, that's and then they have like, you know, Children's Day window display in the Emporium. There's just like some really cool things. I'm a dog. I don't even know what's wrong with her. <laughs> She's eating me. Um, and so I didn't realize all of that was happening. So that's kind right. of fun. And then grad night start yeah. in the month of May. Um, Edna isn't going until June, but it's kind of a bummer. I, like they closed down the park like really early mm-hmm. and it's great for the kids, but it, you know, I don't know. It could be kind of rough otherwise Yeah, for the adults, but it starts May 12th and then it's oh, pretty wow. much like a whole shit ton of dates leading up until the 31st. And then I believe it might go all summer. Do you guys have grad night as well? Um, uh, yes, but I don't think it's as much and it doesn't, it's, uh, so it's not as many dates and it doesn't really shut the parks down Yeah, because yeah, there's like, three other parts. Like, yeah. Right. So, like so if they're using Magic Disney Kingdom. California down at nine o'clock. Is that, is it, is it at Disney California? Is that where it is now? Well, I thought it was Disneyland. So funny yeah. story, Emma's high school that she attends um, got banned for like <laughs> an insane amount of years. Some some shenanigans went down and they lost their grad night privilege. Damn. Not sure what it was. My, neither one of my kids were there at the time. So Caleb didn't get to go. That sucks. So now all of a sudden I get this like email of a grad night in Disneyland and I'm like, what the hell? Like, Okay, like I thought we were still banned, but this right. is the first year Emma's class to get to go back since they have lifted whatever the hell they did wrong years and years and years ago. <laughs> I think it was like literally the first year the school opened, oh, they geez. got banned, and then now, like, I mean, that's they grad go. goals right there, though. yeah, that really is. So, so what does that look like for a grad night for Emma? Because I mean, she's you're like five hours away from the park. So do, do they bust down, go all night, then so bust they home? bust down um, and essentially like stay through the night and come the next day. Like they never sleep. There's no hotel yeah. involved. Yeah. That's kind of like, cool. That's, that's a cool adventure. Hardcore. Ours are, our grad nights were like at Six Flags. Yeah. That's what we li- fun. Like I kind of get for living landlocked. Home. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish they're doing it a little bit later. So, like, she graduates the 8th, mm-hmm. and then they do, like, their grad night overnight that same day. But then they don't go to Disneyland until, like, the 14th. Oh, well, so, that's kind of a bummer. I feel yeah. like you're already transitioning at that point. Like, the transition from high school to college happens very fast. Right. <laughs> and so... I don't know, but it'll be fun, and I I did it. Well, I, when we're, I we're did, not I talk about tra- the, the transition I had from high school to college because <laughs> when, when I did grad night, it actually it was it was hilarious that because we graduated and literally walked from you know here's your diploma blah 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 give your parents your diploma and your cap and gown and you get on the bus and we went to Disneyland that night and went like you said the same thing no sleeping you were all night long you and slept. You- sleep i think or you get you go all night long in the park right yeah you go i mean i i remember we went we got there i want to say we graduated we, we probably got out there like at 10 30 11 and left like at eight o'clock in the morning to come yeah. home our bus got a flat so that kind of sucked that they bring out a new bus and but that's a different story but it's just weird how you know you graduate and you have all that excitement then you're at disneyland like literally like two hours later and it, it's pretty mm-hmm. cool you know, they have, yeah, grad night's a cool event. I mean, they have, they, they do it right and they treat the, they, they treat the kids right. So yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. It'll definitely be fun. And then they have, they didn't really mention, I just know it's coming is the mother's day. It seems to be more and more of a trend for the moms to go to Disneyland. So mm-hmm. um, I had read on a blog, like if you're wanting to get special dining reservations or you're wanting to go all out, you know, even hotel wise, like get mm-hmm. it while you can get it before. It's, okay. Um, it's all booked up. So and then of have, course the oh, Disney 100, like, yeah, for sure. um, I know this particular site mentioned getaway today, one of our big sponsors. Heck yeah. Um, yeah. That. And they are, um, you know, one of the few like reseller, like Disney tickets, mm-hmm. but they're like offering, they're the first, you need more time in the park. 
like yeah. they're offering like that second night or um your third and fourth night free or your mm-hmm. third night free so um you know there's some really good like specials going on with them too yeah that's a great segue into like doing our getaway today spot then we can talk about you're our, welcome our topic welcome. and then we can do sam's thing sam you look excited did you have something else you want to say no, I was just thinking about the text messages I sent Nicole. Why did I think it was? Why did I know it was that when you just had this like big old, big old. This is be the best two minutes of my life, my own commercial. I'm oh my ready. gosh. Okay. Yeah. So your, okay, your own commercial. All right. Let's take a quick second to hear about Getaway Today. Okay. Thanks. Well, hello and welcome to Let's Get to Know Our Sponsor. Getaway Today has been helping Disney vacation dreams come true since 1990. Whether you choose to visit the happiest place on earth or travel to Orlando and beyond, they want to help you. Need to know the best hotel in the area? What theme park ticket should you buy? Have a last minute change? No worries. Their travel experts are always here to help. Want to book a cruise and don't know where to start? Hey, they can help with that too. They will help you find the perfect cruise for your vacation, whether it is your first time or you're a well-seasoned cruiser. When you book your cruise with one of the Getaway Today's experts, you will have a dedicated agent to help you every step of the way. They take care of the details so you can have the most fun. Getaway Today has layway, peace of mind travel, allowing you to cancel or make changes up to 72 hours in advance. You will always have the most up-to-date vacation information, both pre-arrival and upon your welcome. Getaway Today will guarantee the best prices with no hidden fees. And every time you book through Getaway Today, they will donate a portion back to a charitable organization in your area. And so far, over $4.5 million has been donated. So click the link in our show notes to start your Disney vacation planning for more information and the best deals. Tell them Walt's Apartment sent you. And until next time, enjoy the view from Walt's Apartment. We do love getaway today, don't we? Aren't they the best? Yeah, everyone should get you some. The best. We should get us some. Yes, we should. They're awesome. Kim, Jen, Rachel, Carly. They're all the best in the world out there. So um, we love getting Damn, away. my girl Kim. Right. I love her. Let's get into our hot topic. It's not really a hot topic. I just have a question for you guys, really. But um, Sam had mentioned that they have the um, – the, uh, Yes, are you I don't forgetting? Know. I'm just watching you both laugh and yeah, I'm, just, well, I'm crying completely, and completely, completely lost my, my train of thought here. Okay, so tickets are on sale right now for Mickey's Not So Scary um, Halloween party. Oh, well, yeah, and it was starts like in August or something. Don't they start Halloween like in August? In, they, in no, Florida? you're on crack. No, they do. I, be- I believe it is August 11th. <laughs> I'm not on crack. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you might be. I'm um, checking the dates right now, but I believe it is um, August. So Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party will take place from August 11th through November 1st. Oh the party begins at <laughs> so long. The party begins at 7 p.m. and ends at midnight. So park entry for ticket holders starts at four. Uh, they're going to have the Boo to You Halloween Parade, Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular. And the not so spooky spectacular fireworks. Um, Tron is also going to be available oh, to nice. ride during the party. So they, uh, yeah, the tickets got, are on sale. They range from I think one hundred and nine to one hundred and ninety nine dollars a person. I got I got so excited because when when they announced like it was halfway to Halloween, they announced that Florida was opening up and they had all the dates. And I'm thinking, okay, I remember Oogie Boogie was like I think on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays last year. And I'm thinking. Wait a second, I might be going to Disneyland for my birthday, and I know it'll be in September. So I saw September twenty third, and I'm like, "Holy crap, that's amazing! That's they're going to have it on my birthday." And and I looked at it and it said Magic Kingdom, Florida. So that's I well. Know. I guess you've got to go to Florida for your birthday. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of far, but um, yeah, we have. So 
my question is like, you know, we had on Richard and Sarah last night talking about um, Star Wars night. Uh, throw, they talked about throwback night. Um, there's so many nights. There's princess night. They just announced a pride night at Disneyland, which I think is very cool. And I think it's sold out like in a matter of minutes. So the first time they're having a, a pride night in June for at Disneyland. So what do you guys think about that? I think it's awesome. I believe they've already done them in Walt Disney World. Um, oh, do I have to share my sexual preference to get into that night, or can I just go? I don't, I don't no, you can just. I think you could just go. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's cool. Then there's but so my question to both of you is, and and I, I've never yes, been to. Yes, it's worth it. Okay. All right. They're worth it. They are um, so worth it. You've only what have you been to? You've only been to Oogie Boogie, right? Um, have you been to anything else? I don't think I've been to anything else. Well, so back in the day when they had the Halloween party at Disneyland, I was mm-hmm. went to that. Same kind of idea, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's just way better. Like, the Mickey's not so scary. It's way better. So um, I have done the Christmas party mm-hmm. and uh, not so scary. But And then I've also done, like, extra magic hours. But those are a little bit different because those are... right you know, nobody else has been in the park yet and you get access to entire lands or whatever. But right. um, I have always thought that it's worth it. I will say with younger children, it's not as worth it mm-hmm. because they are super late at night and you can't take advantage of everything. Right. Because you and have- that's like the biggest complaint that anyone has is that you can't do it all. Yeah, and it's really, really hard with small children. Right. Um, but the but, ones in Florida don't go as late, right? And you say it goes to 11, you said? Is that what you said? Midnight. Yeah, the ones here, I think they start at 9 and go to 1. And so It may be 1. Yeah. I can't remember. But I was this, seeing... I was this seeing last like, time for Oogie Boogie, they did um, whatever that, like, camping type wilderness area the, the is Redwood over Creek. by the... Creek yeah. yeah. So they did a lighting, like a light effect through uh-huh. that whole thing. And they had like chandeliers hanging from the trees. And they they did this whole like thing with um Alice in Wonderland. Hmm. And um it it was amazing, so cool how they just transformed such a beautiful outdoor space with all this lighting. It was so cool. So do so you have so a cool. do you have to have a reservation to go to those? No, or is, it's an instant, so you don't. No, your reservation is in your ticket sale because they only sell a limited number of tickets for those events. Okay, and you can get in at like five or three okay. years. So something. so technically, if I did go Four. for my birthday, I did go I for think. my birthday. I could because I know my pass doesn't work on my birthday because it's a Saturday. But if, so if we went to that, we could actually go into the park. That's what you're saying, kind of yeah. right? That's At four. Cool. I think four is when you can go into the park. So Nicole's already blurted it out. She says it's totally worth it. Um, Sam says it's worth it too. My question is, do you think that, I mean, it's not really, that's not a discussion. You both said, said it's worth it. I've never done one, so I can't say it is or not worth it. They look like they're worth it from any videos I've seen. Anyone that's met, that's shown, that's, you know, done videos of, of what they do. My question is, is that to get the full experience to this, do you have to go like more than once? No. Oh, you don't. Okay. So you, I don't think you do. People waited but three hours to meet Queen Amidala and the whole event was four hours long. So I would not have waited. No. Well, they didn't have to wait three hours. Well, they, that some people were waiting before they started doing the wristbands. So well, that was their the choice. Thing, though, yes, like, true. This Star Wars night is fairly newer and they're mm-hmm. bringing yeah. back. I don't know that pre COVID it was always this crazy. Right. And Disney is getting very creative and bringing in these meet and greets and just immersing you. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't always the case that you would wait three hours. Okay. okay. No, like there were definitely times where I waited a little bit too long to meet like Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Um, And I remember one time I got to meet all of the dwarves at like they were in Pete's Silly Sideshow, I think. Um, mm-hmm. That I think I waited about forty-five minutes for. That's worth. That's that's the seven dwarves. That's pretty cool because that's that's not something you'd see all the time. So 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. I think I waited we, 45 minutes for that, but like Haley wasn't in the picture because there, she could not wait right. at 11 o'clock at night, could not right. wait 45 minutes for a picture. So Cole, you went with your kids, right? You went this last time? Yeah. And we don't, we didn't do like any pictures really. Like we wanted to do um, the Sanderson sisters and we weren't able to, but I think it's just a matter of like where your focus is. Yeah, like, exactly. You have, that's what I'm saying. Do you need you to go more than that once? Choice. Do you need to buy two tickets and go one time for characters and one time for the other events? You know what I mean? To, to I get... kind of feel like the way Emma and I have done it, or even with Caleb, like, yeah, that would be so fun. It's not necessary, right? but we tend to have this like gang mob mentality where mm. it's like, go, 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 go. And right. you want to accomplish everything. And you want to have all the candy and apple slices that you can possibly get your hands on. And it's like, and the rides. Like, so right. there's like no lines for these big players. And that's know? worth it too. If you really think about it, you're spending a hundred yeah. bucks to ride and all the rides. Food. I have yeah. never left an after hours event not feeling satisfied with what I got accomplished. Okay. Agreed. Okay. That's, Agreed. That's and. I want to do them. I, I, I'm hoping in the future I can make it work where I go down and do some of that stuff. That would be awesome. I'm look. I'm. They look great. They all look like the throwback one. Being a Disneyland purist, looked so amazing. What's just the stuff they had with, you know, the Tom. They they changed the thing to the not to the Carousel of Progress. You know, they mm-hmm. they changed the sign just for that night. Just they had out the uh, little mission to inner space doom buggies that you know just very 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 cool and um um yeah i so you guys say they're worth it i'm sure everyone thinks they're worth it but um i have never really heard any complaints but i just thought i'd ask you guys i know you both have done them so you guys have anything else to add about the after dark events or no but i love that you just brought up the carousel of progress right because that segues me into talking about Blaine Gibson. Oh my gosh! Look, we are the segue king and queens tonight, king and queens. Look at See what I. I did there. See what I did there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's let's move into our imaginary. Very purpose. brief imaginary Very future brief. because somebody needs to get to the movies to see Guardians. I well, I'm okay right now, but yeah, I'm still I'm, I'm excited. So that's why that's why Lewis is here and why Joey's not here. They're both seeing Guardians now. Me and David will be going to see Guardians at 10 o'clock tonight. So uh, looking forward to it. It'll be fun. I've heard really, really good, really good things about this movie. So I'm excited. So I'm going to go tomorrow. So cool. Cool. So tell us about Blaine Gibson. I am going to tell you about Blaine Gibson. So pretty much if it was sculpted, Blaine Gibson probably had some part of it at some point. Um, he started as an animator. And they needed somebody to sculpt some animals for the Jungle Cruise. And he took it on. He started doing the elephants. um, Had an insane uh, ability to put so much detail into his sculptures. He did pretty much everything for the World's Fair. He did all all the small world, little Mm -hmm. children. Um, He did the dinosaurs and cavemen for the Ford Wonder Rotunda. Um, Pirates, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, he did the family for the Carousel of Progress, and he did Mr. Lincoln. Right. So animatronics, sculptors. Blaine Gibson was the guy. He actually, and Bob Gurr. Hmm? Don't forget Bob. Don't forget Bob Gurr. Lincoln didn't work without Bob Gurr. He had to fix it, but it's okay. Go on. I love. I'm it. talking about the. Yes. Know, okay. I'm not talking about the mechanics of it, but okay. yeah. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> Squirrel. Uh. Then he got, he was able to move forward with a lot of things after Walt passed. He was kind of responsible for carrying forward a lot of those projects. He ended up being charged by Roy with doing the Hall of Presidents, Country Bear Jamboree, yes. America Sings, yes. and um, the Future World Pavilions in Epcot. So he had di- he's done so much, so, so much. And he's super humble about everything. Um, he, like, was still going in just a couple of years ago to do maintenance on the Hall of Presidents. Huh. Is that still alive? is amazing. I mean, as far as I know, he's still alive. I should have probably looked into that, but <laughs> uh, I think so. 
Let me check. Like, I'm, check. I'm checking. Keep talking. I, I believe oh. he is because I know in the. Let's see. Yeah. So these Disney people never really retire. I love it. Right. No, they don't. Just like Tony Baxter. Like, Tony Baxter is supposed to be retired, right? But like, if you were to give him the right Joe project, Ro Joe Rogan was supposed to. Yeah. So like. Oh no. He passed away. He 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 passed away in 2015. He was 97 years old. Yeah. So, all these Imagineers and they they stay they stay alive for a long time too. All of them, most because of them. they are literally spending their They're lives of magic. doing what they yeah, love. Absolutely. So there's a lesson for all of us to learn 97. in that. That's crazy. Do what you love, and then you'll get to live a really long time and get to do it. That's yeah. But if you hate what you do and you hate your life, then you're just gonna die young and miserable. Oh, so just love your life while you can. Damn. All right. And but that Gibson. is your life talk from Sam tonight. Yeah, there you go. There's your TED talk right there. There it is. So that's Blaine Gibson, right? That was just a little tidbit, yeah. We Do can we get more into him in the future, but we don't have that much time today. Do we have no, anything was... else? Go ahead. Uh-uh. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was asking if we had anything else, but you're going to talk. Go ahead. Um, They... I... Like, I think it is very cool about how, like, even the animals came to be for, like, Jungle Cruise and how uh, the detail, but then, like, there, it's just, like, this little head of the giraffe. Like, how he was able to take and capture, like, this tidbit of the animal that was going to be showing and make it so realistic. Mm -hmm. um, when we had our interview with... Gilbert Lozano, he talked about how difficult it was sculpting things like Figaro and like knowing that this part of the animatronic is the part that's going to have to move and what kind of material you need to use in that part and figuring out how all of these mechanisms and all of these materials and all of these little tiny pieces are going to work together. Mm -hmm. um, it's not an easy task. It's not an easy no. task. So but... cool though. So right. cool. Yeah. Um, do we have anything else we want to talk about parks wise? Anything else, ladies? Cole, anything you got? No, I think you should head to the movies, yo. I'm good, yo. It's only eight o'clock. We're good. Sam, you got anything you need? I'm glad we're able to do this. We do miss Lewis and, and Joey, but I'm glad that we're able to do this, ladies. I appreciate you both so much. Make sure you check out all of our shows. You have Walt's Apartment Live, you have The Marvel Tribe, Knights of the Rogue Republic, Undisputed. Coffee with coal. Um, it just it just goes on and on and on. Um, we love it. We love doing this. Mm -hmm. We love all of you. Thank you so much for listening to this extra magic hour. And until next time, we hope you have a magical day. Good night, everyone. this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past, and here you may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America, with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. <laughs>